Well, good morning everyone. I know I've been a little bit gone from the YouTube community here in the past couple weeks, but I am back in full swing. I had like a crazy Christmas season. We actually had four Christmases to do, including our own. So it was just crazy busy and <clears throat> I was finishing up my work week and typically I work a ton and then I take like the holiday season off because my son's off from school. So it's been crazy. But anyways, I just wanted to get on camera and just chat with you guys about a few video ideas and see what you guys think down in the comments below. So if I mention a video idea that you guys really want to see, let me know and I can definitely do um, that kind of video. Excuse my voice, by the way. I'm suffering from this weird sore throat that I've had for quite a few days. My voice is actually better today than it has been, so... Sorry about that. But anyways, I just wanted to get started. My name's Callie Fab, by the way. I do videos here on YouTube and it's just a lot of fun, honestly. I'm gonna start doing more than just makeup videos. I have a lot of different like personal ideas that I really just want to share with you guys and share my journey on a few different topics. So yeah, look forward to that. If you guys are only here for beauty, I'm still going to be doing a lot of beauty and makeup and product reviews and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to transition more out of the tutorials and get more of like these chit chat get ready's with me. Get ready's with me? Whatever. Um, just because I feel like the tutorials aren't really my style anymore or not that they really were in the first place. But yeah, I just want to like kind of transition out of tutorials, even though I know I haven't done a lot, but I want to start doing some more of these chit chat get ready with get ready with me. So yeah, let's just start. So I'm going to use the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. I really do like this primer. If you guys remember, this was like super, super popular for like a while. It was really, really good. And honestly i still love it like it really does make my skin glow like i don't know you guys know that i typically use like powder foundations which i'm not transitioning out of powder foundations by any means i love them so much but i finally found the perfect foundation for me and by that I mean it's very, very light to medium coverage, which is what I like. I don't like a full coverage foundation at all. You guys know that. I mean, even when I do want a fuller coverage, like powder foundation, I have one specific powder foundation that I use for my more full coverage days. But yeah, I'm really going to try to use up all of my liquid foundations. And honestly, this is the one that I've been loving. I'm just going to tell you guys, the suspense is over. <laughs> it is the Essence Pure Nude Makeup Natural Finish No Makeup Feel in the, in the shade 10 Pure Beige. Unfortunately, there's only like three shades of this, which is ridiculous, but this is the lightest shade. I freaking love this. It works so good for my skin. So here it is on my hand. It's very, very runny, which I don't care really. Um, but I just tab it on the bottom of my, well, I was going to say beauty blender, but it's just a blending sponge from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. like pinkish, pur not purple, it's pink. Pink one. And I freaking love this foundation. It is so good on my skin. Like, I'll do one half of my face and then I'll do a close up and show you guys because it is incredible. Unfortunately, when I use the sponge, I have to use quite a bit more product than I would with a brush. But for some reason, for me lately, the brush just, I don't know, it hasn't been giving me the look that I really want. You know, I don't know. When I use liquid foundations, I'm very, very picky. I just, I don't know. They're not all created equal. And... I'm a firm believer that if I don't like a certain liquid foundation, I'm just not going to use it. It's going to sit in my collection forever until I either give it away or just throw it away, which I did go through all of my foundations. I can link that foundation declutter up in the cards above, but I just, I don't know. I just don't, I'm not in love with liquid foundations. They just look weird on my skin. They don't settle correctly. They're always too cakey looking and too heavy on my skin. 
I don't have that bad of skin, luckily, but, you know, I do get the occasional, like, <clears throat> that was weird. I do get the occasional breakout, um, you know, red spots and stuff, but it's usually not too bad. So, so I finished up one side of my face. I'm gonna close up for you guys. So this side is covered with the foundation and this side is not. Do you guys see that difference? Like it is a very light coverage, but it looks so natural. Like I just love it. I can't handle it. Anyways, I'm obsessed with it. I can't handle it because I love it. But that's what I've been using now for quite a while. And it was actually in my collection and I didn't even realize that I had such a gem in my collection, which is sad, but when you find stuff that you really like, it just, it clicks. It's amazing how well things click when it just works for your skin. So if you have my skin color, or even a bit lighter, or even a tiny bit darker, this color would be good for you. Otherwise, there's only darker colors. There's no lighter colors. So unfortunately for my lovely ladies that have the very, you know, very, very porcelain pale skin tones, um, this isn't, this just isn't going to work for you. It's going to be too dark for you. It's going to be too orange. It's going to be too dark. But for me, having like a light to medium skin tone, it works perfect. <gasps> Dang it. I just got foundation in my hair. Like legit amount of foundation in my hair. That's unfortunate. Anyways, so off the topic of foundation because I'm clearly obsessed with this foundation and I can't get over it. There's a few topics that I really want to talk about on my channel this upcoming year. So I'm gonna kind of just run through a few topics that I really want to start getting into more and leave me comments below on which topics specifically you guys would like to hear more about and I can kind of get more specific maybe on my next like chatty get ready with me. I'm gonna try to do at least one of these a month just to kind of check in with you guys and see how things are going and just kind of talk to you about like my month ahead, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder in the shade 110 Creamy Natural. Here it is there, just to set my face. This looks so weird. Anyways, and I'm using the um, Love is the Foundation brush by It Cosmetics. I love this brush. But, um, so one topic that I really want to start talking about is like finance and not like the boring side of finance but just like little money things because my husband and I have been working really really hard of of that's the wrong transition word my husband and I have been working really really hard at trying to get out of debt and ways to save money and things to do that are <laughs> cheap or free um, we really do look into free fun is what I call it with my son I tell my son all the time we love free fun because there's tons of things that you can do in your community that's free fun and things that you don't have to spend a million dollars on to go and do and to enjoy and to have a day out. Even like here it's snowing and it's <laughs> freezing cold so obviously we're not going to be going out today but we have tons of things here at the house that we can do. So <clears throat> that's one topic that I really think I want to start going into with you guys and how we save money on our monthly basis because we do have a budget every month and I could show you guys like our monthly budget and how we go about sticking with our budget and what happens when we go over our budget and what happens when we go under our budget. So. I have tons of different video ideas for like budgeting, um, free fun, um, saving money, things to cut out of your life to save money, things to add into your life to save money. I have tons of different ideas. So I know that this is a beauty channel and I spend money on my beauty products. Oh my god, the struggle is real. So what I was saying is I know that this is more of a beauty channel and 
you know, product reviews and stuff like that. But that's not all I'm interested in. And I know a lot of you guys out there that are into the beauty community. Oh, I'm using my Lorac Behind the Seeds Eye Primer. But I know a lot of you guys out there that are into the beauty community and that enjoy this kind of community are into other things as well. I'm not the only one that's into, you know, financial ideas and, um, I don't know, painting and crafts and drawing and, uh, I don't know, not shopping and decluttering and minimizing my life. So I really want to go over some of that stuff with you guys and just run it by you and see if that would be something that would be interesting for this channel or if I should just keep this channel strictly beauty related and maybe create a second channel where I can talk about all those other random topics. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I'm, I have way more interest than just the beauty community and my husband actually was the one that really brought that topic up to me because he <clears throat> purchased a really cool Christmas present for me that I never would have thought of for myself. I'm going to use this um, highlight and contour palette by IBY Beauty and I actually mix these three bottom shades together to give my contour. But what I was saying is that my husband actually bought me a present and he's like, you know, you do your beauty videos and you know, you love it, but you're into so many other things and you do so many other things that you really like and really enjoy besides just, you know, the makeup and the editing and the filming and stuff like that, that I really think you should get into. And that just really sparked my interest for doing this video and creating something that I could sustain long term because I do really enjoy the YouTube community and honestly I love editing the videos. The editing part is so much fun to me. I know some people think it's like the boring part of filming but I really just, I have a good time editing my videos. I seriously sometimes like crack up at myself at some of the stuff I do and I say because I just, I don't know, I'm just silly like that sometimes. but. Yeah, he just really brought to my attention something that I probably should have thought about when I started my channel. But I have done um, like a finance video before and it was called like five, five easy ways to save money or something like that. I'll link it down in the cart or I'll link it down in the description bar below if I can find it. But that was just like five changes that we made in our life to save money on a daily basis or on a monthly basis, I guess. And they've all been really, really working. So, I mean, yeah, you're not saving a bunch every month. No, we didn't save $1,000 during the month of doing those five changes, but we did save, you know, $100 a month. And that little bit makes such a difference. Like, you maybe think that it won't, but then you look at your um, finances at the end of the month and add up everything you brought in and everything you spent out and it's amazing the change that it can make because you're like whoa what did I do with that extra hundred dollars before like how come I didn't have that before and it just it really changes your mindset to you know you don't need everything yes I go into Target and I look at all these things and I'm like well it's on sale I, I could just use it but then I'm like oh but I could get the same thing at the dollar store and that would be a dollar instead of five dollars or whatever. You know, just simple little things that you can do like that really make a difference. So I'm gonna use the Tarte Blush Bazaar palette from this year. And the color that I've been obsessed with is the shade right here, Skillful. I'm trying not to blind you guys right here. It's Skillful, it's on like the top part, this is the bottom. And I've been obsessed with this blush. I, it's like so pink, but so neutral and so like, mauve undertone. I just love it. So anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going with this. So the next kind of video ideas besides finance, I know I talked about that for a while, but it's, it's really a topic that I've been really getting into lately. Um, 
The next topic I really want to see if you guys would be interested in hearing more about is my weight loss journey. So <clears throat> I have lost quite a bit of weight from the summer of this year. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys how much yet unless you want like a dedicated video. I can do one with like pictures and video and stuff that I have been documenting myself over time and um, tell you what uh, programs I use not like the Atkins diet like I don't do that but I can tell you what kind of programs I use like the tracking programs like the calorie tracking and exercise tracking programs how much I go to the gym um, how much I eat calorie wise and what I eat I'm really blushing I kind of love it I just like layered it on but I really do love it it looks so good but <clears throat> so far I have lost quite a bit of weight. You guys can probably notice in my like face, because obviously I don't show my body very often. Um, you can see my body on a few of my um, KonMari decluttering videos with my clothes. I did. I do have like a full body shot where I'm like in sweatpants. But if you guys want to see like before and after photos with my weight loss as of right now, I would love to do a video dedicated to that and like I said, like what I do, how I've been able to keep it off, um, especially during the Christmas season. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it during the Christmas season. Oh, I'm using my Beauty Wishes and Sweet Kisses palette from my Project Pan, by the way. For my eyes today i'm just doing my everyday eye look that i do pretty much every day besides day besides filming days but i figured i'd do it today so you guys haven't seen it yet okay anyways so i figured i would show you guys what was i just saying my weight loss stuff yeah so i could show you guys my before and afters my filming how much weight i've lost um my typical calorie burn during the day, um, how I've kept it off, and you know what my plans are for the future. Oh, and that's what I was saying is my holiday, I didn't gain any weight over the holiday season, and I felt like I pigged out. Like, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I didn't go to the gym once during this like holiday season, and I pigged out, and I still didn't gain any weight. So or I felt like I picked out. Maybe I didn't actually pick out, but it was close. Um, but yeah, I really want to show you guys what, what I've been doing because I think that my process could really, really be helpful to some of you guys. I know that weight loss is not an easy thing, especially, oh, oops, that just happened. Um, Especially when you don't have, you know, 100 pounds to lose, you only have 50, you know, or 40 or 30 or 20 even, you know, you don't have much weight to lose. It's even harder at that point because the, the weight loss trend is a lot slower because your body's already a bit smaller. So you're not going to see, you know, on a monthly basis, you're not going to see that 20 pound weight loss because you don't, you only have the 20 pounds to lose, you know? So basically I've been losing between nothing to a half pound every day. And that's really, really successful for me. But I had to learn a lot along the way. Like <laughs> I had to make the mistakes. I had to figure out what worked for my body and what didn't. And I really feel like I could do a, like a series, maybe like a monthly series of dedicated videos to my weight loss journey and keep you guys updated about the whole thing and how well I'm doing and my setbacks and my advances and you know, just things I've learned and things that I could teach you guys. No, I'm not a dietitian or nutritionist or anything like that but I've studied a lot and I've learned a lot along the way. And I really, really think it could be helpful for you guys to kind of do it with me. And, you know, maybe we could start like a Facebook group and talk about our successes and our failures together. And, you know, I could give you guys tips and tricks that I've been using for, you know, what works for me, how to get yourself to love vegetables. If you don't, I've always, 
enjoyed vegetables, particularly like carrots. I, I love carrots. Anybody that works with me knows that I love carrots. I have carrots like every day. But I, I, when I was younger, I used to eat carrots like crazy. And then when I got a bit older, I was like out of the veggie phase. Like I had no want to go and buy carrots and eat them. And then now that I'm really starting to work on my weight loss, I'm like obsessed with carrots again. And like you won't come in my house and not see a huge bag of carrots, like, you know, and just having that stuff around. Anyways, I don't want to get too in depth in anything of my weight loss journey because I feel like I could talk for hours and hours about it because it is such a big part of my life and it has been for a long time. I've wanted to lose weight pretty much since I had my son. Like I had my son and I just, I got really depressed. I couldn't do it. And you know, I'd try something for two or three weeks and I wouldn't see any results. And then I'd be like, okay, well, obviously not working for me. So why should I keep trying? And that's a terrible mindset to have. So really, when you start your weight loss journey, you really need to have the right mindset to get yourself through the setbacks because one setback doesn't mean that the whole journey is ruined, you know? It just means that that's not working for you or you haven't done it long enough for it to actually work to see results, you know? Like I said, I had to learn a lot personally about myself along the way about my body type and about um, calorie burn versus calorie intake and not being tempted by people around me. People, you know, I bring my lunch every day to work, but people go and get these big, you know, taco bowls and um, these big like sandwiches and stuff like that. And it really helps that I'm not like a big meat eater or anything like that, but I just remember that I'm on the path. I'm on the path. Don't let people distract me around me. Yes, I do have the goodies, but I limit them, you know? Anyways, this is like a really long tangent off of my weight loss, but like I said, it's a big, big part of my life, and I've really been enjoying just seeing myself progress in a positive manner, and having a positive attitude is just so helpful like truly truly is making the journey so much easier for me just having that mindset where i can do this just because i didn't lose any weight or i gained a pound and a half which happened recently i gained a pound and a half and i freak out and then i'm like no it's okay it's okay it's just because i had a huge christmas dinner three days in a row we're good and then you come back to the positive mindset and the weight just falls off it's amazing what a positive mindset can do. Anyways, <clears throat> so <laughs> I am going to use the Butter Blush in the shade Natural Glow for my highlighter. I've been loving using this. But anyways, off the topic of weight loss, like I said, if you guys want to see a weight loss journey, like updates and like how I started and what I'm doing and gym time and what I do at the gym and like eating, like what I eat, how many calories, how much I exercise, whatever. If you want to see any specific topics, leave that down below. Or if you just want to see a generalized weight loss journey with pictures and stuff like that, and I can do updates every month, please let me know because I don't want to do it unless you guys want to see it, you know? And it doesn't really make sense for me to do it unless you guys want to see it. <laughs> so I can definitely do that. I've been, like I said, I've been on the path. So I really think that I'm going to continue on this journey and I'm enjoying it. So why not have you guys come along with me? We can, you know, chat about it in comments and like I said, maybe create a Facebook group and you know, have some fun with it because that's what it's all about. It's not about torture. No, it's not about torture. It's about fun and enjoying what you're doing. And yeah, anyways, that was a big rant. Anyways, I used the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Here it is here as my like over top highlighter. I like to do the butter blush first because it's a very natural highlighter. And then when I want a little bit more glow, I use the champagne pop. Okay, so those were two topics that 
I really wanted to discuss with you guys to see if that would be something that you're interested in. Um, I'm going to use the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks in the shade Convertible Pro... Convertible Pro... I cannot talk. Convertible Brow 02 for brown hair. Um, this came in a boxy charm and I love it. So another topic that I was thinking about talking about on my channel and kind of going over with you guys to see if you would be interested in it is like an artsy type of topic. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but like I could go over some of my art projects that I do with my son. I could go over different painting techniques and different, um, I don't know, just different design ideas and like the thought process that goes along with it. So let me know if painting and artsy and like arts and crafts type of stuff would be interesting for you guys to see. Like I said, if not, then obviously I'm not going to do it if you guys aren't interested in it. Um, and I could also, like I said, I could also create a separate dedicated channel to all of these other topics that I'm talking about. I'd preferably like to stick with this one channel just because I feel like two channels to handle plus my son, plus my two jobs at teaching at the hospital and, or teaching at, teaching at the college and at the hospital um, working. I just feel like it would be too much to keep up two channels. So I don't think that would be fair for you guys to only see me, you know, once a week on each channel versus three or four days a week on this channel. Um, you don't have to click on videos if you don't like them either. There's always that option. But I just really want to see if that would be, you know, something you guys would be interested in. I don't do a lot of that kind of stuff right now just because life has been crazy. But I always used to do a lot of like arts and crafts and arts and crafts and painting and drawing and different kind of like artsy type things that I just kind of feel like have been missing in my life. And by the way, this is the Shiseido eyelash curler. I freaking love this thing. I got it from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Um, spring of 2017 and I freaking love this eyelash curler like it is the best one I've ever had ever and I've had so many of them <laughs> this is the best anyways um, so an artsy and artsy artsy and craftsy that's so weird type of video would be something that would be interesting for me to do but let me know if that would be something that would interest you. Honestly, that's how I really got into makeup because I love painting and I love designing and I love using my hands. And I told my husband, he's like, cause I wasn't, I wasn't always into makeup. Like some of you guys have been, but I've fallen in love with it recently, like within the past two years and three years, because it's like a canvas. So when you're painting, you have a blank canvas and then you work on it and you work on it and you change it and you manipulate it and it changes into this beautiful painting, right? And that's how I feel about your face. Your face is a blank canvas. So when you take care of it with proper skincare and proper hydration and proper um, <clears throat> cleansing and stuff like that, you have a beautiful, perfect blank canvas. So for me, I don't always like to cover my blank canvas because I don't always feel like I need makeup. But when I do, it's like I get to be creative and I get to have this blank canvas to color and paint and enjoy. And then at the end of the day, when I wash my face off, it's like creating that blank canvas all over again. So it's really a lot of fun for me to do makeup and kind of compare my mind to painting and being creative and being artistic and that's what makeup is. I mean think about these women and men that do these crazy eye looks with these graphics and all these like Halloween makeup and stuff like that like how much fun is that? Like I don't know. It just really gets me back to my creative artistic side that I used to be completely into in like junior high and high school. Middle school is what we called it in high school. 
But then I kind of got out of it after I had my son and then we kind of got back into it and then we've kind of gotten out of it because we've gotten more into technology and stuff like that. But now it's like I really want to get back into my creative side. So let me know. Oh, this is the um, Hypnos Drama by Lancome Excessive Black mascara that I'm almost done with. But let me know if like something creative and like artsy and crafts, arts and crafts type of stuff would be something that you guys are interested in. And if there's like something specific, like if you want me to just put my camera on my blank canvas and just paint for you guys, you know, kind of like in a fast mode and just show you how I create my own designs and images, let me know. I can totally do that. That would be a lot of fun. Obviously, if that's not something you guys are interested in seeing, let me know that too. <laughs> but I'm always going to do beauty and makeup on this channel. I just, I love it. It's so much fun. I love reviewing new products. I love purchasing new things and seeing what, you know, seeing what I have and just enjoying putting on my makeup on my blank canvas almost every day. Not every day. But yeah, let me know if that's something that interests you. So next I'm going to use the Great Lash by May Maybelline in Very Black. This is also in my project pan. It's almost gone. Cannot wait for it to be gone. Um, so one last topic that I wanted to bring up to you guys is the topic of minimalism. And I know, <laughs> I know that my makeup collection is not a minimalistic makeup collection, okay? I know. Trust me. But I have been transitioning myself and my family into a more minimalistic, eco-friendly lifestyle. So I know that means different things to everybody. So just because I don't live out of a backpack with only 10 items of clothing does not mean I cannot be a minimalist. Minimalism does not mean that you only have 50 items for your whole life. That's crazy. I have a child. There's no way I can only have 50 items. Come on. Let's be real. But minimalism for me, transitioning, has meant so much. Like, it really makes me think about every purchase that I make. So that 20% off Ulta was here until what December 24th New Christmas Eve and I went on the Ulta website so many times but I was like what do I need I already have my hairspray stuff not my spray but the Eva NYC main magic I love that stuff but I already have the one I'm using plus my backup I don't need that I don't need more shampoo and conditioner I have tons of it I don't need lotion I don't need any more makeup products right now as I'm trying to pan and use up tons of them like I don't need these things Yes, I would love a new hair dryer, but mine works fine. Yes, I would love a new curling iron, a really big, like, really big fat one, but I don't need it. I want it, but I don't need it. And that's what I've really been learning about myself is when I go to the store, like, even with grocery shopping, like, I make a list and I stick to it. So, I don't know. I really want to start talking about my transition to a more um, not zero waste living but more eco-friendly living if that makes sense like <laughs> for example my goal every single month is to recycle more than I throw away so to me that means every single can that has no because Michigan you get 10, 10 cents off or 10 sends back when you return like a Pepsi can. But like my husband drinks Arnold Palmer, those we don't get any coins back, but they're aluminum so they can still be recycled. So when my husband throws it in the garbage, it drives me freaking nuts because it can just as easily go in the recycle bin, you know? Um, and we've been trying to make sure we're not taking bags from the grocery store. So I bring my own bags. I even have my own produce bags now that way like Theoretically nothing. I mean they do weigh like 0 0.01 of a pound, but like How much better can that get? We don't have bulk packaging like I can't bring my own mason jars to Where I go shopping for groceries unfortunately, but 
I'm transitioning myself and making sure I bring my bags, my reusable bags, every time I go to the grocery store, making sure that I'm not buying more than I need or I'm buying the packaging that can easily be recycled as opposed to the stuff that can't be. It's really a good feeling. I also have been trying to figure out, I've been also trying to figure out how to go about using compost. Like, so whenever I cut up an apple, for instance, the apple core that I'm not going to eat can go in compost. So compost is basically anything that can grow back into the earth, right? So any paper products can be composted, any um, fruits, veggies, like stems and seeds and stuff like that can all be composted. So I have been working on trying to figure out with my husband a way that we can create our own compost because we don't have like a... Ooh, that almost hit me in the face. We don't have like a place that we can go and drop off our compost, which would be better for us because we don't really have a yard that can sustain like a garden. We have a very, very small yard and we have dogs. So the dogs would tear up any kind of garden that we put in. But when we move, that's going to be one of the main things that we're going to be looking for is a yard where we can have a section for the dogs to go and a section for a garden because I think that having a garden would really be more sustainable for the environment and for us for money wise I mean some of these things get so expensive but that was like a huge tangent off of the fact that we're really trying to live a more eco-friendly lifestyle and really think about our purchases that we make on an everyday basis. So if you guys want to see more videos on eco-friendly and how we've been transitioning and what we do on a daily basis to make it more eco-friendly and more minimalistic and like basically some of my decluttering videos, like I decluttered my entire basement, not the whole thing, but pretty darn close. and you know, I'm realizing that we don't need all this stuff. How many times have I looked in the boxes in my basement since I moved in? What, seven years ago? Um, maybe twice, because I've been looking for something specific. But other than that, it's like, those two, those two times in those seven years, I could have just went out and bought the five or six dollar item or whatever it was. And it just doesn't make sense to me to be keeping all of these items for a just because or a maybe it'll happen or well one day this just doesn't make sense I'm gonna use the ColourPop lippy stick in the shade cookie for my lips today um they are extremely dry so I am going to put on this lip tone lip care stick by Tony Moly Tony Moly I said that weird are your guys' lips like incredibly dry lately? I cannot handle how dry my lips have been. My skin in general too like has been so incredibly dry. It's uncomfortable. Like when I forget when I forget my um my moisturizer at night, it physically hurts my skin. Like I, I don't even know how to describe it. It just hurts. It's painful. Oh, anyways, this is the shade cookie on me. I love it. It's like a perfect nude. Um, it's very comfortable too. And it goes on top of a lip balm or lip moisturizer very, very well. Anyways, so I brought up four topics to you guys. I brought up the weight loss topic, the financial topic, the painting, arts and crafts topic, and the like minimalism, decluttering my life, um, kind of downsizing, eco-friendly living topic. So let me know of those topics, what you guys would want to see, and any specifics on them. I know that weight loss one is probably going to get the most, you know, interest in it but if there's anything specific you want to hear about my weight loss journey let me know and I can make sure to include that in videos or any questions you guys have be sure to leave in the comments or just email me I have my email down below it's callyfab1991 at gmail.com email me don't be afraid <laughs> I'm I'm here like I'm good to go I have two weeks off work well 
minus New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, I actually work a double on both days, which sucks, but it's four shifts in two days, and New Year's Day is time and a half, so I'm just saying. It's gonna totally work. But anyways, let me know what you guys wanna hear about. I really, I want to do more videos on more than just makeup topics this year. In 2018, that's one of my resolutions, to do more videos on topics that I just really am inspired about and look into and things that I watch personally on YouTube where I'm not always watching makeup videos. I watch a lot of different types of videos and different people and different topics and, <clears throat> and I have a lot to say personally about my journey and you know I feel like a lot of this stuff could help you guys and that's what I'm here for I'm here to do reviews on products and let you know this product sucks or it's great you know I'm here to talk to you about topics that you want to hear about I'm here to just have fun you know that's what I'm here for I created this channel because I wanted to do something for me that was fun and that I could have a good time doing and I'm so happy that you guys could share this with me and thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video. I know it was very, very chatty, but that's the nature of the beast, right? <laughs> but anyways, make sure you guys subscribe below and please don't forget to comment on which topics you'd like to hear about in the very near future and I will see you guys in a very, very soon video. Soon video? A quick video coming up soon, you know? You know? Okay. I need to stop drinking coffee, which I never have coffee and I drank this whole thing of iced coffee. I've had a lot. Anyways, I'm gonna go hang out with my son and relax a little bit and yeah, so thank you guys so much for being here and let me know what topics you guys wanna see and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Set this face. Is that what you guys do too? You guys hold your breath because it smells terrible and you spray all over your face and then you just blow it <laughs> with your hands. My eyes are totally closed right now. Is that what you guys do too? Because I totally do this. Whew. So much better. So much better. It's good. Okay. Now it's good. I don't know. What's, what is my hair doing right now? Oh my god.